Okay, now we are ready to do the judgment of our criteria and our candidates. Let's start with criteria judgment. Click on this and now you will see on the left hand side your criteria and down here optional weighting methods. We have a forced method as well which you can select and then opt whether you want to distribute a hundred percent or you just want to assign a number between 1 and 10 to indicate the significance. For the moment let's only focus on the pairwise operation so click on HP pairwise and you will slide a screen. Note that on the left hand side of the screen you see your criteria and on the right hand side you have a scale. The software will offer you a pair at a time one in blue and one in red and this is simply to differentiate the two. And what you are going to be asked are actually two questions. Which one? How much? Once again, two questions. Which one? How much? So, when they present availability and family status, it's asking the question for this particular job function, which is more important, availability or family status? If you feel availability is more important, then you move your cursor in the direction of the blue because availability is blue. And in answer to the question, how much more, you're asking the question, how much more significant or important or relevant is availability compared to family status? We are looking at the significance difference. Let's say moderate. That what I'm saying is availability is moderately more important than family status. Now you hit next. Of course, you can always go back and correct it. So we go next. Now we say between availability and higher degree, which one? Let's say higher degree is more important. In that case you go down towards the red. How much more important? Just a little bit, not too much. And next again. And note here, if a pair is considered equal, you need to move away and then move back. Watch, next is not active, but when I move this, it becomes active, right? So let's proceed to complete this as we see fit. And it's over. So it says, okay, we're done. We just finished our criteria waiting and now we go into the candidate waiting. Once again, we see our criteria on this side and this time we see our candidates on the right hand side. What the software does is picks one criterion first at a time and compares candidates a pair at a time. So here for the availability criteria, it's asking who is more important really? Who is more available if you like? So if it's John, you move towards the blue. And the next question is, how much more is, is his availability compared to Harry? Let's say very soft. We hit next. Now it produces the second two options, John and Mary. And let's say it's a little more. Now it takes the second criterion and asks the same question. And the third criterion. All you do is you keep saying, which one, how much? And when you finish, you say OK, and guess what? We have a result screen. And watch the screen here. Here we have the criteria ranked, and here we have the candidates ranked. By clicking on the tab Wait here, we can sort it out, top to bottom. So this is extremely important because it tells you really what goes on. And also there's a message here. Please pay attention to the message. Since I was just playing around with it, message says my evaluation was not good. I need to repeat it. But if I had done a good job, probably the message would say the decision making process was good and your work is acceptable. Okay, so that's all for the moment with regard to this video about making your judgments. And we'll look at other features in another video. Okay, have fun.